Hey, Phil Dakota from Jones. Just want to take a couple minutes here, uh, give you a little bit of a walk around the train. That way you can show the misses, everything that we talked about. And just as normal, um, we'll find a time that works for you tomorrow for me to bring it out to the house. That way you can go ahead and take a look over it with her, make sure you may have her drive it, uh, go through all the stuff that we talked about here as well. But this is the train SLE. Now, some things that we kind of skipped over a little bit here, there are buttons right here on the outside. So you can actually leave the keys right in your pocket because you see there is a push button, there is no key. All you gotta do is press the lock and unlock button from it. Um, start your doors from there. It makes it a little bit easier. You don't gotta go through your pockets or purse to get to it. It is also equipped with the remote start that we talked about as well. Rear cargo space. There's some additional space down underneath. And this is all sound detonating material. That's what makes it such a quiet ride. And then underneath here, there is a spare tire, not an inflation kit. Handles that you just give them a pull, clap straight right down. That seat's a little far back because I sat there earlier. Capless fuel. There's no gas caps anymore. You don't get the smell of gas on your fingers. Charging ports in the rear, as far as a 120 volt outlet down at the bottom. Big skyscape sunroof that takes up the entire vehicle. Fantastic, that's all that natural lighting right in. Fully powered seat. Now the button down here, that's for the park. So actually press that. You'll see the park's brake come on. It's not a kick brake anymore. Your lights are down here. You can actually turn these on and off. These are for your interior lights. They'll actually dim down the screen at nighttime. And your auto headlights are down here as well. Forward collision alert. So that's the one if you're driving at a high rate of speed. They'll actually flash right in the windshield through that little notch right there. Let you know you're getting too close. Auto high beam headlights. So you just press that button right there at nighttime for another vehicle's coming. It actually dim down the headlights and taillights. Cruise controls on your left. Buttons for your tachometer on your right side. You can actually tap through them, see the music that you're on, the navigation, the phone, home screen. You also have the one on the side if you press the one to make phone calls or use the nav and to hang your phone calls up. Electronic precision shift. All you do is put your foot on the brake, pull back, do your and just press P to park. Freeze up all that console space now. Heated seats. So just the back and the back and the bottom. Hill descent control. So that's if you're coming down at a high grade. Um, a real steep, it'll actually stop you from kind of being a runaway vehicle. will actually brake for you. Lane departure lets you know you're going out of the lane. Now the all-wheel drive system, days like today, it's pretty nice. Uh, you just keep it in two for better fuel economy, but you, all you gotta do is turn it while driving, kicks you over to all wheel, and there's also a mountainous mode if you decide to take it off road. Makes it a little bit easier. Full touch screen with the built in nav. We'll get into all this stuff tomorrow too, but I figured I'd just give you a quick little video here, let you show the missus, see what she thinks, and then we'll set up a time and I'll be out. Thanks. Bye.